Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Muggle Lover, and thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, in which we're using a special sub-mod called Old World Blues Violet's Iron Alliance Redux. As you can tell, we're playing as Iron Alliance, in which we'll see how what we can do with this nation, the Iron Arrows. Taking the arrows was were not what I would call hard fought in the traditional sense. They were easy. But there were so many of these the these wayward tribes to cover, and yet so many still evaded my grasp. Regardless, I remain proud of my achievements. And the Quenai Comanche. When they came to New Sterling, I had thought them to be ghosts. When they spoke to me, I had thought them to be a bad dream. When they asked for my help, I had thought them to be joking. The Iron Arrows tribes. Within the ruins of Kansas years ago, there were several small tribes formed after the war. These were often called travelers to be the Iron Arrows, the fierce and territorial men and women of the Kansas expanse. They had made livings out of raiding travelers and other passerby, too nomadic and distrusting of one another to settle and attempt farming. Though they had run-ins with the Midwestern Brotherhood and other powerful entities conducting operations within the region, there was a man who traveled through Kansas, who did not merely intend to pass through. Nay, he intended to make use of the arrows. Wearing a great suit of powered armor, a helmet decorated with the elements of conquest, and inscriptions in language he did not understand, the man caught the attention of all who saw him as he visited each tribe, bringing with him tales of mysticism and gifts afterwards, killing each chieftain and wise men he came across, demanding servitude from those who remained. He looked at the people and he told them, You will follow me, or you will fall be before me. His dozens became hundreds within months. All he met listened un unanimously, or they were scoured from history. Among the Iron Arrow tribals, however, Bullet Eater took to heart most of the lessons of the Capturers, okay, or the Geminis. 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 I like that one. Lessons from Geminis. Caps is nice and all. We do have a trade note here, too, which I forgot about, but... The Iron Alliance. When I was done collecting arrows from the fields of Kansas, I already had the name in mind, the Iron Alliance. Firm, simple, calculated. We may be raiders, but we are civilized and strong, unlike the settlers and dreamers who call their homes heavens and paradises. The Quenai Comanche. The Bullet Eater. A Comanche warrior who loved his people years before him. Uh, before himself on a soul-searching conquest or quest determined to chase his own destinies and forge his own legend away from the tides of his people though the iron arrows were his conquest a new problem poised itself to him the matter family the quinai comanche under the gold chief golden eagle had followed bullet eaters trail west and into colorado pushed out of their home by rampant ghoul infestations they sought refuge with what they saw as kin hoping for a new home far from the trolls of texas bullet eater though himself a crew tyrant Found some sympathy for his heritage, he accepted Golden Eagle's tribesmen for his former family and allowed them full reigns within the Iron Dem Demens. De uh, Demesen. I can never say that. Oh, my, my apologies for mispronunciations. After the New Sterling acquisition, Bullet Eater had a choice. Where did he place the Golden Eagle's band? Pete's? That's not bad. Or Holyoke? Ooh, which one do we need more? We're at 12, 16. Okay, so that's interesting, but. What other areas have resources around here? So, the scrap, scrap. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. It looks there's a lot of scrap in Colorado. Well, there's quite a bit more. Um, holy up, let's go Pete's. Let's go Pete's. And the Bullet Eater of Colorado. They call me Bullet Eater because I cannot know anything else about me. They cannot know anything else about me. I was a man who weathered the storm of the Fitical, an alliance forged from iron. Several tribes, strong Bullet Eater, brought the newly united arrows to New Sterling where he believed new opportunities in the outskirts of Colorado would arise. Forging them anew into the Iron Alliance took great care in ensuring the welfare of his newly christened soldiers, each man, his own gun, his own armor, his own markings, his own conquests, all for his or her taking. These great wars, my Iron Alliance, are held together by my creed, a simple code that those who are strong understand in the moment the words leave my lips, to each man his own legend. And an Iron Alliance forms strong. Nice. Infestation. The witches offer. Up in the Comanche? Uh, let's do that one. Let's see what happens with that one. It's time to give my father and old tribesmen something, or somewhere where they can feel at home. I can tell that while they're willing to work with, it, with us, they're not pleased with what me and my men can accomplish. Phoenix. During his travels in Kansas, Bullet Eater met a titan of man. Titan of a man. A mutant from out west with skin as blue as mute fruit and a gangly but brutal appearance. Despite his skin being wrapped in barbed wires and mocked with cacti spikes, he had an uncharacteristic air of sophistication to him, though it was bizarre in its application. He had numerous medications all along a bandolier, each marked with progressively distorted wordings. Even so, he had an elegance to his mighty display, displaying an intelligence that made Bullet Eater's mind spark. He offered the Nightkin, Phoenix, a place at his side and with it access to all his resources, past and future. Phoenix accepted without hesitation and became a steadfast companion to Bullet Eater. After arriving and settling in a new sterling, however, a disaster struck. An old agricultural facility was opened, raising horrible spores into the air and the unearthing a colony of carnivorous plant zombies. <clears throat> 
With the fate of the Iron Alliance in jeopardy or on some of their greatest contracts on the horizon, Phoenix and Bullyers prepare for the worst. They called upon the strong. Ooh! They called upon the smart. Ooh! We get more. Ooh! 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 More attack, though. 15% more attack! More minimum capacity. Where are we at for capacity? We're fielding 24. We could get more divisions out. Mmm. I like that attack. Ooh. What did we get earlier? Also, here are the natural spirits. Mercenary occupation. Ooh. Caps go up quite a bit. Annexation costs. That's fine. Whatever. The infestation. Ooh. We're losing weekly manpower. Division defense. Ooh. That's not good. We have Comanche settlers. We have men of iron, which is pretty nice as well. Power armor attacking to speed. Ooh. I like that a lot. Lessons from Gemini's organization. Um, let's see. The other one was caps. This one was organization. We're really military focused. I like the max planning. I think I'm going to call upon the strong. Let's go with the strong. I want our divisions to be as good as possible. And screw it. You know what? If we have no manpower, we can't lose any more manpower, right? So off the Comanche. Uh, Comanche language sessions. Comanche riding tactics. Ooh, that's not bad. Let's do the infestation next. This infestation has gone on long enough. It's time to deal with this nonsense once and for all. Cool. And since we're here anyways. Oh, we can tributize these people. Yeah. Go and try that. Uh, we have, like I said, we have caps. Political actions, procurement of things, we're going to wait, drastic measures don't really mean too much to me. Um, who else do we have? I'm not looking at this off screen at all, so it looks like fairly generico stuff. How about cultural policies? Friends in high places, we'd be elites for that. And that's not really worth it. Yield stability for 0 0.05. We can only get a little more than one a day. It's not bad, but they rejected, rejected, rejected. Okay. Oh, well, can we do? I mean, we do have power armor here, so. We have no field marshal, which sucks. Oh, actually, we have Phoenix here, too. Nice. And at the time of this recording, it's been a long time since I've actually played Old World Blues. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not sure what I want to throw in there, so we're going to wait for that. Let's go to the trade node. New Sterling. 16, 26. Ah, oh, 21 others. There you go. Make a little bit more money. But the village. Bullet Eater entered the Comanche village. A small hosting of tents and teepees outside the nearby town. Warriors watched him waltz in, their eyes were crying if it was an intruder or a traitor. They would be right on both accounts. He breathed deeply of the rich, meaty smell, smoked death claw, seasoned well and cooked by flame. Placing his fist against his waist, <clears throat> he looked out and watched the children play and the craftsmen work, admiring the willpower of his father's people. Come and say hi, his sister's voice asked, her spite thinly veiled. No, not duo. Bullet Eater said flatly, turning to her. Her face was still on scarred by the wastes. Then why? Then I don't know why you're bothered. She sighed, walking away. Because you asked for my help, he called back. I did, Nadua asked, turning back to him. No, I don't think I did. My father called for you. Our father, he corrected. If you believed that, you would have been here with us the whole time, she spat, briskly walking away. Perhaps helping them wouldn't be as easy as he had thought. Taking no chances. More defensive core territory. Try to cure the spores. Oh, follow the plant. Ooh, trial by fire. Spore cleaning teams. Agricultural Research Center. The fate of Mulligan. Uh oh. Fun farming takes recycling. Fun for everybody. Well, it seems like this one's. We could do this one. Uh, I'd sooner kill every last infected to do with this in the city, then I would give them a chance to become a monster. A factory from Father. Uh, the Iron March. We're going to need to be careful about this bullet eater. Uh, what else to do? I want to try to kill the spores. Um, it, it'll take time, but we can avoid great tragedy if we dedicate some thought to the matter. We lose a lot of stability manpower, but that's okay. In the streets. Blood Eater watches a spore carrier clawed away at one of the new sterling locals, ripping out organ after organ and throwing them into the street with a horrifying vigor. Rushing over and blasting a shotgun shell into its dome with a snap of the wrist, turning his semi panicked gaze back upon the body. A whiff of char and gasoline meeting his nose as Phoenix came into view. Bullet Eater grabbed another spore carrier as it flung itself in at him, throwing it to the ground and slamming his power armored boot into its head over and over until it remained of the skull cracked. Turning back to Phoenix, fuming, he bawled his fist. Who the heck did this? Phoenix incinerator. Huffed as he adjusted a nozzle, glancing around for more of the carriers. Not sure, but I got ideas. Boys are telling me they came from Agricultural Center on the south side, boss. Bullet eater bristled. Mulligan's the one in charge out there, licking his lips. He threw up his finger. I want to see that dude myself once we're done here. Phoenix knew how to stick a toothpick out in his mouth. You got it, boss. Back to the grind. That's so much pee pee. So much pee pee. I love it. I love your pee pee. Mm. Uh, pee 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 pee. Research advisor. I guess we just we could go conventional warfare, but military theorists, you might as well. We're already on everyone for the war machine. We're on petty gang conscription. We are on outside volunteers. Um, economic advisors. Nothing too radical here, really. I guess we'll go settlement builder because we can. Try to kill the spores. Trial by fire. Agricultural sector. Bring me Mulligan. 
Oh, we need one of the following. So, follow, so yeah. The Iron March. So we need to do that one to do that as well. Let's do the Spore stuff first. Spore cleaning teams? 60 day focus. Wow. Perhaps the greatest relief of my life was personally torturing the last of those filthy monsters from the face of this earth. Nice. Oh, well, we have several 60 day focuses. That kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Um, let's grab a new. Uh, Allard Kim. Alright, well, whatever. Bullet Eater could probably be the Field Marshal, but whatever. Let's go with Inspirational for now. We want to be a strong, strong Field Marshal. Only one of these missions. Uh, so this is the template. This is what he comes with, which is really nice. And we actually have Powered Fire Team Platoons, which is pretty nice too. This guy's only 14 combat with. Infantry kind of sucks, to be honest with you. Even though you probably already knew that if you're watching this video. But still. But still. Uh, let's take a look. So, these divisions. 14 like we saw, but then I'll show you the Iron Garden. Just actually, show you what I thought saw about the Iron Garden. Actually, technology word medium for pretty much everything: naval vessels, vehicles. Let's go ahead and just grab this. Got the description. Trial by fire. Yeah. So these guys. So we wanted to put demo teams. It's not worth getting demo teams because with fire with the fire teams, you know, with machine guns, we get plus 15, 14 more defense than. Demo teams, you get a slightly more breakthrough, slightly more soft attack with demos, but you lose anti-air attack, hard attack, organization, piercing, reliability, so... I can't really justify it, man. I can't. Who is this? Can we actually raid Hexy Lou? I'm gonna try it. I'll see what we can do. Cool. Reference band is nice. Go get the other one, too. Thank you very much. So after this one, the Agricultural Research Center. Despite the horrible mess that emerged from this facility, there's likely things of note within. Taking a look wouldn't hurt. Probably wouldn't hurt. So in about 21 days, or 20 days, we'll get that. Nice, 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 nice. Bullet Eater, you got anything for us? Uh, Expert Health Fire would be good. Go inspirational for now, since we're still pretty early on. I'll take that out too. That'd be good. That'd be very good, actually. Cultural Advisors. Uh, Pimp Pusher. Don't want her or Division Organization, really. Raider recruit. Oh, 5%. That's really good. More than max plan would be nice. More attack. We get the popular. Oh, actually. Oh, we're losing manpower anyways. I should not have done that one. Oh, should not have done that one. My bad. Board working. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Border war. Well, start. There you go. My bad. So just in case, we, we just stockpile all that manpower. So you're using infantry and power armor, which should be fine. And we're getting some army XP. Not very much, but we're getting some. So after this one, recycling fun for everybody. Um, bring me Mulligan. Let's teach his dude a lesson. Sit plain, simple, quick. I like it. Oh, we found someone here, huh? Well, we are using our infantry. We do have an intel advantage as well. But when are these guys going to get in here? And they are using militia. Not bad. Not bad so far. Hey, you know, this one ended up being way easier than I thought it would be. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but like a fat dude and a thin, tall guy or board guards, all we had to do was wait for the fat guy to drop a sandwich and we were already there burning problems down. Nice. And this is, yeah, it's that one again. I like that, that's fun. Especially, well, when you win, it's it's fun. When you lose, it kind of sucks. Big, fat, took us his butt. Whatever. Huh, <laughs> whatever. Now against Robot City. Might be different. A story, but we'll see. Uh, we can create an intelligence agency. It's only two factories. The Cabal. If you think you can come up with a good name for Bullet Eater's intelligence agency, please let me know in the comments below. I will gladly read through uh, your suggestions. Gladly, gladly, gladly. Stubborn dude, Max Entrustment is nice. Expanding the gang. Just five world goals times. We'll wait for that one. I think it's good to just wait. Uh, production policies. Stonks, nice. Fade of Mulligan. After a week long manhunt, Mulligan was finally found cowering inside the Agricultural Center. Now, with Mulligan finally at his feet, Bullet Eater is faced with a choice. Scalp him, make the others understand? Let him stay. He suffered enough for his mistakes. What? What are you talking about? Uh, let's go with this one. The Witch's Offer. A stranger in a scarred and repainted suit of armor. One of the boys have taken to a calling her a witch. Believe it or not, has requested an audience with me. She requests I meet with her, as she says, with amicable care. We'll see if that is what I care to give her. Nice. A witch arrives in strange plating. And what you will do, recycling fun for everybody? 
Might as well. We found old pamphlets de detailing a recycling regimen. Though it seems futile now, with proper infrastructure, it could be meaningful. Bullet Eater met the woman outside New Sterling, four miles out in an old farm shed. Entering with no one else but Phoenix, Bullet Eater was cautious as he saw the woman. Clad in a scratched up suit of power armor, he didn't recognize. Smile, why, with a plastic ferocity. You called, Bullet Eater said simply. Indeed, the woman said. There was a rickety yet sultry apprehension to her voice, a sick kind of age business surrounding her. And answer, you have. Shall we? She drew her breath short. Get to business. What do you need done, Bullet Eater asked, growing impatient. I have a contract that no doubt succeeds any others you and your <clears throat> crew have ever undergone, she smiled. Clasping her hands together, a small spark of electricity dancing between them. Phoenix chortled. What's the pay? A cinch she bought previously obscured by a haystack emerged. Its chassis was gritty, standard, and dirty. Strapped to, its, strapped to its chest and safety secured was a well-kept suitcase. Thousands of caps stared back at the two, shimmering in the dim barn light. One hundred thousand off front, the witch said, in an enlightened, with an enlightened sigh following. And please, dearest, call me Celine. Good enough for me to just point us? I've got some questions. Let's well, see what happens. The stranger smacks her lips with a courteous yet antagonistic dogma. What else would you like to know? What kind of armor is that? The woman's smile lessens, a sense of gravity to her tone. Such things are beyond your worry, wouldn't you think? After all, with so many caps on the table, why would it be... It'd be a shame to throw it away. I see. What's exactly the destination? We are to head into a valley within the territory held by the Black Canyon Raiders. What you are to do, of course, is ensure my arrival and security once we've arrived at the destination. And after my deed is done, of course, the contract is finished and a crossing of paths will conclude. So that's it, Phoenix crossed his arms, snorting idly. We just help you get to this valley? As I said, ensure my arrival and... That what I seek to achieve is done, the witch cackles, adjusting her ragged armor. You see, there's great things in that valley. She staggers her breath, a smug dilating of her eyes, just barely noticeable. Things beyond you or I, but not much for but not much not for much longer. They call you a witch, why? Presentation is everything, Mr. Bullet Eater, as I'm sure you know. The simple folk know me as a witch, and it is a title I wear with pride if it inspires such fear in them. My knowledge of a technology is unparalleled, and my ability to break your spine is unmatched, she crackles. In short, they call me witch because I cannot conceive a devil worse than me. I see. You've got a deal, lady. Which lady? Let's see if we can beat the crap out of this militia as well. Ah. Uh, oh. Wait, why we can't do either one of these? Oh, well, it sucks. We can't do either one. It says no matching neighbor state. Which border? No? I'm pretty sure we can start a border war here. I guess especially with these guys? Well... I guess we have to cancel it. That's stupid. We just lost money. That's really sad. Well, that's alright. Whatever. Can't always win, I guess. Can't always raid enemies around us. So for this one, we're still looking fun for everybody. I guess we'll do the Iron March. We were just given us a deal that I'm sure as I'm unsure as of the purpose to. I am not the one to question motive, but I but to have us march to a strange valley in the middle of Black Canyon territory. It's hard not to ask questions, especially when she's so evasive about the valley's purpose. And fun farming tips. We're mercenaries, but we must eat too. We can't rely wholly off what we plunder. Phoenix's thoughts. Bullet Eater only had just finished mustering his forces for the westward march when Phoenix approached him. His fists were ball, though it was more out of worry than thought than any form of aggression. Bullet Eater? What is it, Phoenix? asked Bullet Eater. This contract. What do you think? I think it's nonsense. I think it's money. I think it's nonsense. Let's go with nonsense. Yeah, that's how I'm seeing it too, Phoenix chuckles. So we're really doing this, huh? We don't decide on a contract, Phoenix, especially not after taking payment. I'm not saying we should, boss. I'm just having shakes, I guess. Do we need to get you more meds? Bullet Eater asked, narrowing his eyes with concern. <laughs> nah, boss, no, I'm just, you know, on edge. That woman, the witch. I just feel like I remember that armor from somewhere from my time in the West. He trailed off, glancing back up to Bullet Eater. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, see what you thought, it was all. I'll be ready by morning to get started, yeah? Have a good night, Phoenix, and we're doing Follow the Plate. Scott's Bluff is the only harbor I know of in northern Colorado. Having proper water access to the plate would be quite a boon. In which we want to... Get down here as fast as we can to start coring stuff, so Avalo Industry uh, will be taking our claim, maybe, for more stability. We've been making some heavy moves, figuring out how to make easier watchtowers and fobs, or forward operating base will help us tremendously. Nice. And also, we did raid some more people, too, so. And by more people, we mean these guys up here, so. Uh, go and stop training, go and flesh it out. You guys will be fine. I'm re not really re about this at all. Oh, and there we go. Mm, not bad. If you want, you guys can probably go up here and go up there. That's nice. That'd be very good, Avalo. Losses, 0 versus 51. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Could be a little better, though. Oh, did we lose anybody yet? Not yet. We got some seed selection, though. That's pretty good as well. A little bit ahead of time. Oh, let's go to improvise tools, because we can. Any losses yet? Oh, we did lose it, dude. I'm so sorry. We had one casualty here. Oh, my goodness. This is so bad of us. So bad. Also, the mods we're using is Old World Blues. Old World Blues, you know, the Violet Iron Alliance Redux. We're also using uh, Old Blues Radio, Stay Touch Tool Mod, 
Oh, Trade Witch has baggers. And, yeah, Player of the Peace Conference. They rejected, so be it. We just need to take out these guys. Baggers? The baggers looking, do be looking a little bit tougher than the other group, but... We'll see, we do have five power armor divisions, so... In my estimation, that seems pretty... Pretty decent overall, but we did want to core ourselves as fast as possible, so... Patrolling Scott's Bluff. The schools in Scott's Bluff are scarce. Simply placing enough patrols should leave them to rot in their own little hovels. Nice. Since we're here, don't want to forget about this way, send pacification. That's fine as well. We still have that debuff, uh... Western Occupation, Men of Iron, Western Occupation, Oh, do we not have it anymore? No? No? No Men of Iron? No? Okay, so we got rid of that thing. So, it's totally fine having manpower here. Wow. Effective total manpower modified 126%. Stability hurts us. War Sport actually gives us more stuff, huh? War Sport. Work is needed. Rare conscripts. Spore team cleans are also very nice as well. Sticking our claim, of course, patrolling Scott's Bluff. And what yours has become. Oh, you get better defense and... Oh, that's not bad. Well, we do want to do the industry as well. Concentration, of course, would be very good. Rapid deployment is also very, very good. I do want to go to war as fast as possible. I like war. Doshu Lu, occupation of Reimer and Etwood is proving to be somewhat annoying. With this contract in play, however, we'll have good reason to open up a path through the area and allow us to expand our influence within the area. We need way more infantry coming now. Holy smoke, Arenos. That's alright. Pretty normal. There you go. Do that. Improve the trade note if you possibly can. Thank you very much, which means more money for us. We got plenty of PP though. Resistance and scare package. We could do that, but we can probably wait. Um, yeah. Oh, well, no wonder we are out of guns and stuff like that. There you go. We'll do that too. Cool. Happy 2276, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Let's get some more resistors. Improvised tools will be nice. It's a little bit ahead of time, so let's grab some of that. Smoke signals will be very good as well. Uh, new citizen care package. I do like that one quite a bit. Improve living standards. We could use some more stability here. That's fine. Go do that one too. And that one too. Very good. And, oh, actually, you can discuss bluffing. You never know when this might come in handy, do you? Never know. Let's move straight on in. Atwood. Nice. Promise of loot. Do you lose organization, but do you get more weekly war support? I think that's worth it, especially with all this PP we have. It's very nice PP. It's always good to have nice PP. Um, what else do we have here? Chief of the Army, Stubborn Dude. As much as I love that one, we could just fight World Goals times just in case. That'd be good. There you go. Get some more army XP too. You might as well. Losses. Now we're probably Oh, it's glitched. We can't see it. God dang it. It's alright. So who's next? So you Hidden Valley after this one. We could wait for that one. Infrastructure's nice and all, but... Uh, let's do the bottling plant. There's some old Nuka-Cola factories within the area. If we clear them out, I'll wait or we can try and put the pack packers to use. Okay, that's all better. Get Phoenix back online here. They got some baggers. At least eventually. Oh, he falls ill. That sucks, bro. After the bottling plant, we may have an issue. Uh, as it turns out, our naval upgrade in Scott's Bluff did not go unnoticed. Cleaning, clearing out the local nuka lurk populace may be in order. Why is everyone falling ill? Why is everyone getting sick? Chibi dies. Yes, yes, yes. Rejected. Oh, the chibi dies. Him. Nice. Tax him. Wither dogs. They're probably going to say no anyways, but where are the wither dogs? Oh, they're right there. Okay. Well, I'll uh, see. I do want to raid them, but we'll see. This one says, not the worst dining experience we've ever had. Not the worst dining we've ever had. Let's clear out the Raymer resistance next. Those These ghouls have decades of fighting experience. Dealing with them is paramount before they become much, 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 much more annoying. Nice. It's much easier to make those divisions. Um, usually for Old World Blues, I like to do it like this. Throw in at least one fire team there. Because it does give them just a little bit more edge. Of course, we want more organization here. It's going to cost a little bit, but that's okay. Throw in some more fire teams, demo teams, just good stuff like that. We don't have enough army XP, god dang it, oh well. Still get 1.15 every single day, which is pretty nice. Raid the countryside of baggers, hangdogs. Also take over Petro Chico. Uh, invest stimulus, that's fine. Resistor is nice. What else we got here? Multi-purpose equipment, good. Encoded signals, nice. Mm. We may have an issue, yes we may do have that. Nice. We'll do some of this stuff later on. It's not like it's extremely important right now. Encryption would be nice, but communist armaments. 
Though their supplies have long since reverted to junk, perhaps we can make good of their jury rigging practices. Not a bad idea. As we will start spending some serious money to upgrade our intelligence agencies. Twin mothers, you never know if we have to fight those event guys and girls eventually. Anti-tank would be very good to get eventually as well. Use this in a secure package. Raid. I do want to raid. Hmm. Oh. All drones available for border war. Economic hub for warden. Hmm. Baggers. We could try the baggers. We could try them out. Why not? And secret workshops, perhaps? Yes. Well, when do we, do we get... Oh, we do get that one and then core the stuff. The ghouls here have set up an underground workshops beneath several buildings in the area. Taking the tools and putting them in, in our men's hands will make the world a difference. Make a world a difference. Yes. Nice. Accessibility command. I think I would choose the left side, which is better. Yeah, that breakthrough is really important to get. Yeah, it's just better. Yeah, I'll, at the time of recording, yeah, like I said earlier, it's, it's been a very long time since I've actually played Old World Blues. Um, Twin Mothers is done. I need to play Twin Mothers again sometime. Twin Mothers flee north. Everyone about that, please go ahead. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Raid. Oh, wait. Oh, is that Robot City? I thought it was Baggers. Alright, well, that's not good. And that's why we're gonna need anti tank. Crap, that's not good. My bad. We're gonna need some more of this and waste some power armor, too. Alright, do that, too. If you need to, that's fine. And then secret workshops will be very, 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 very beneficial. And Doshu Tunnels! More and more remnants seem to be uh, poking out. God dang it. Out of the ground. They seem to be looking within a tunnel system. Getting them out of here may be harder than expected. Why? Okay, oh, so this is glitched. All this border stuff is glitched. Yeah, from here on out, it's not worth doing border stuff because it's just all glitched. Seems glitched. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be completely wrong, though. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. We need another research slot, though. That's what I do know. Tax him. We need that money. Come on, station. Nice. With all this PP, you know what? Screw it. Just go with outside battalions for now. Hurts just a little bit, but that's okay. Secret workshops. There you go. Burying the dead. Uh, there's a small tractor shop that seems to be hosting a large group of remnants in Atwood. A few well placed grenades should take care of them off of our radar for good. Rooting them out will be good eventually, but then we'll go with what's yours has become mine or bagged. Oh, Avalo. Oh, we need Avalo Industry. Oh, okay. We need that one too. Then get down here. Oh, no, go straight for the bagger. That's fine. Good. And we're making more infantry divisions just because that'll help us with our uh, territory and stuff like that, too, so. Nice. Mm. Logistics. I love logistics. I almost always use them because they're so super useful. Super, super useful. Get some demos. We'll get some uh, this as well. Good. good. Burying the dead? Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. That'd be awesome, 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 awesome. Actually, that's not too bad. Slave Flogger is pretty good. Yeah, you know what? That 10% factory output. Let's grab that already, because we need more guns. We need more fire teams. We need more power armor. And some spec ops equipment, too. Nope. The Avalo industry. Forcing some of the leftovers here to make supplies help us move forward. Which is a great, of course, great, 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 great thing. I love these shorter focuses. I love it so much. Boulder doming, huh? Shell in the town. Cool. And then we'll do what's become yours and mine. Bagged. The baggers, as they're called, are mostly displaced scientists from my understanding. I will admit that I'll enjoy further displacing them in their silly expedition. Nice. Everyone about the followers of the apocalypse, please go right ahead. Eh, it doesn't matter. I don't really care about them too much. I'll come in. No one gives a crap about them. We close that up for now. Close that up for now. Political actions. Basic hygiene. More stability would be really, really nice. Yeah, 52% ain't bad, but... Actually, it hurts our mobilization speed. It hurts our recruitable population factor. Resistance are going to occupy states, too. Every time we can demand tribute, we just get more and more from them. I love it. We're such bullies. Oh, look at that. Oh, we get cores in Sydney, huh? Sydney. Oh, is this Sydney? Houndlands? Cool. Alright then, incorporating Westerners. The baggers are men of the West, so we enslave some of their higher echelons, we may be able to utilize their scopes for our own people. Women's ones, old dogs die hard. It's a battle of chug water. Oh no. Oh yeah. I once heard about a poem of a chug water ba bard. Some strange ghoul who believed he could play every instrument. That man died, however, so the ballad of chug water remains unknown. Perhaps what we do here will inspire someone to write a new one someday. Maybe. Just maybe. More defense would be very good for infantry. 
nice. We do want to get some planes as well. Planes would be very good to get. So now we're kind of losing here. It's not good. Hmm. We have to use our power armor to be more efficient here. We only have so much manpower too, so. Yeah, we definitely need to use our manpower better than this. It's alright though. How many have we lost? Oh, we can't tell. God dang it. That sucks. There you go. Still got him though. Nice. Living standards, ballad of chug water, corporate and westerners. We get a research slot, which is awesome. And two more cores? Great. So if that's the case, we'll probably do... Let's do them doggies first. Yeah, we'll go like, like this. Go boom, 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 boom. Something like that. Right, we'll see. We'll see. Keep training for now. Uh, prioritize living standards. Get more stability. They stabbed himself, which is fine. Get some more free civvies, basically. Water, research speed, medical tech. Doesn't really matter to me. Go and do that anyways, because he can. Because he can. Jug water. Luminous ones. Very nice. Oh, wait. We're going to... Well. Oh, well. There you go. Old dogs die hard. The weather dogs are some of the most prized or organized of the sorry northern Colorado collectives. Even knowing this and pondering this, I take immense joy knowing that they'll be just as easy as the rest of them. Nice. Three, two, one. Let's go. Be a little bit more careful with what we got here, actually. Yeah, let's do it like that. Something like that, that'd be fine. Let the power armor do most of the heavy lifting anyway, so. There you go, let him get attacked, move around. Oh, actually. Send all of you guys here. There you go. Should do okay. Circle them, kill them off, then we'll do a general attack, it's fine. Oh, you piece of doo doo. You are a doo doo piece. A giant piece of doo doo. And we can't get down here, we'll go this way. The smog over Sterling. Look at this. Oh, raid minor states. Where the current recent acquisitions, business is booming. And though some of the men may believe we might be biting off more than we can chew, we may be able to take even more. Oh, let's hope so. Ah, fourth research slot. Beautiful. See, that's why we did it here. Now we're going to go and do a general attack. There you go. Oh, we need more fighters. I keep forgetting fighters. I keep forgetting about the Air Force. It's not good to forget about the Air Force. Hey, another circle. Nice. Good. Thank you, Luminous Ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Two suns, nice. Go here, probably go boom, boom, boom. Cut off of that division, maybe, we'll see. Oh, I have refugees as well, whatever. Don't really care about them. Industrial glow up, not bad. Bad up Hoover Dam. Yeah, we'll do Old Dogs Die Hard, I forgot to do that one too, but. Yeah, I was gonna do that one too, because I, to, I just wanna go to war, so. Just easy as the rest of them. We like them easy. Unless you're training, nice. Basic weaponry, yes. We need more fire teams. Guns are looking good now. Let's go up to here. Actually, go to three. Go down to th there. You go. Now I can share the wealth a little bit more. Get some more construction speed as well. That'd be very, very good. Actually, since we're here too, I forgot about this. Yeah. Smog over Sterling. Not new Sterling, just Sterling. Oh, okay, kneecap diplomacy. Raid attack bonus 10%. Well, only if raids work. Only if they work, so. Old world wall holds, which is very, very nice. Honestly, we could probably just go, go straight on in. Actually, we'll just let the power armor just go straight on in. That's fine. Yeah, I'll do all dogs die hard. Siege of Fort Collins. Nice. Planting a flag. Nice. And then we'll do last one out hit the lights. In retrospect, if we had immediately sought out a better source. We could have likely been compensated for killing the Luminous Ones. Too late to be bitter about it, though. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. It's not bad. We need some more of this. We're working on a lot of power armor. Uh, it's only one factory. There you go. Do that, too. Higher foreign heroes. So that's fine. Merchant spies. That's fine. 
get some anti-tank, which is still fine. Uh, supply use, they, these guys don't use a lot of supply, which is good. Hit and run, nice. Walking tanks, just go on in. Let the power armor deal with it, I don't want to deal with it, so. Weekly War Sport, that's pretty darn fine as well. Let you guys move in here too, and we got him. Trying to make yourself bigger and stronger. Oh, there goes Robot City. Hang dogs are doing pretty darn well though, which is a little concerning, but still. Glow bug. Oh, you're all together. Well, that kind of sucks, bro. Um. There you go. Let's get Brooks Braden. Bad. Scorpion Spy is gone. Followed up with what? Industrial Glow Up? Yeah, the ghouls here are too dangerous to be left kept alive, but their industry can be repurposed. Their engines may need to serve us. We shall ensure that they do. Wow. Yeah, no, that's okay. We don't need to see that. Bottle caps economy, not bad. Best in New Sterling? Why not? Why not, you know? And after that, making the ghouls work would be nice. Boulder doming. That'd be really good as well. Let's go and do get the core down as fast as we possibly can. Making the ghouls work. The industry is set up. All we need to do is get men to man it. The ghouls will suffice. Nice. I don't want to lose defense. Honestly, why would we do this one? That makes no sense. Toothless back. I was one thing if you get like 10% more attack, but you lose 10% more defense. I think that would be a better compromise. Or maybe 7.5% versus as well as like, I don't know, something like that. Field of refugees goes up. That's fine, whatever. No one cares about refugees right now. Yeah, I think 3% attack, more attack and defense versus just 5% more attack. I mean, why not take the other one? So, I think that probably needs to get looked at again, maybe. I think I'm not the mod developer. I'm sure the mod developer is looking at ways to make the mod even better, so. Uh oh. Well, we best be ready for a war against Slanius. Hmm. These guys are not looking too bad. Iron Guard, I don't mind throwing out at least logistics. Supply can be get pretty bad here. We do hurt organization just a wee bit. It does hurt our armor too, but that's fine. Uh, Chugwater Blues? Chugwater is a sad town fraught with lost souls. I'm certain that if we stake our claim properly, we won't have issues with dominance. Get some more guys there. Get some more guys there too. That's fine. Um, refugees don't really care. Passive hygiene. That'd be good to do. Yeah. Nice. Iron Guard. Awesome. Train, 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 train. Miss the fire teams, which suck, but whatever. It's okay. We need way more power armor stuff, too. Which we're making it. We're getting there. We're getting there. Jugwater Blues followed up with the glow dimly. The great glowing ones, last remaining loyalists, are within Red Mountain. Hunting them will prove easy, but timely. And then we'll do the dogs' workshops. I admire the Wither Dogs' tenacity. Underground workshops are scattered all around Fort Collins. These will certainly be of use when in due time. Yes, yes, yes. More manpower, more strength. Oh, uh, hang dogs, they're not doing too bad. I, I definitely don't want to fight Lanius, even though he seems relatively weakish. Yeah, but the hang dogs, how many divisions they got? 26. It's only 26. They want us to join them. How do we respond? Their strength in numbers? No, we're going to work alone. Yeah, we're going to work alone. As much as fun as that might be, I ain't feeling too frisky to be with the Legion for this campaign. Maybe eventually. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. It would make it easy for us, but still, let them kill each other off. I think that'd be for the best. Then we got more research speed. That'd be great, 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 great to glow dimly. Yes, yes. Dogs workshops. Yes. And let's see you for Collins. All that's left of the Wither Dogs is this town. With the last of them eradicated, we'll be ready to move, boss. Phoenix. Awesome. Training militia force is very good as well. Fire teams, demo equipment's looking very good. Demo equipment just has lost so much luster since the last time we did this. Uh, purity, we're probably not going to go purity from a meta, meta, from a gameplay perspective. It's not bad, I like it. But we'll probably go principle. I think it's more recon too. Warrior code's not bad. Combined arms is pretty good too. Heavy special forces, we'll get to get some recon next. Recon would be very beneficial. 
195 caps, pretty good. Raids, tributize, tributize. Nice. Tax them. Raid the glow bugs. Well, yeah, I'll see if we can actually do that. Planning a flag, automation is very good. Let's get some recon next. Planning a flag. Four columns is a fantastic position to hold, and one that won't come without difficulty. Well, you hope so. There you go. Public projects happy. 22878. Very nice. Broke contribute. Oh no, whatever will we do? Mm. Government sector schools. Uh, let's get two of these at the same time so we can get max out that stability for now. We'll see what happens. Alright, so how are we going to rate them? Siege for Collins, planting a flag. Boulder damming. This is a final stop. I won't let Battery and his little glow bug pets stand in my way. Uh, where are we at? So Cheyenne or Chugwater. I probably want to do Cheyenne. Layer me. You can believe it. That's fine. Three. Two. One. Try it. Should mostly just be power armor. Okay, never mind. It's mostly just infantry. God dang it. Why? I don't I don't like this rating system. It's not the dead's fault. Or we'll lose dead's fault. It's Paradox's fault. You should be able to raid with the divisions that you want to raid with. I don't understand why we cannot choose that. It literally makes no sense why we can't choose it. Demand demilitarization? Huh. These are funny. We lose here. It's because of the Paradox devs. Uh, why Paradox devs? Why? Planning a flag? Boulder doming? Failure on Laramie. Uh, okay, boss, I know we told you many times that Laramie would be a tough target. I know you didn't, really didn't listen. But it's okay. Next time, I'm sure it'll work out. We need to give Larry a pig, peg leg and replace the 52 other boys we lost in the raid. Hopefully we can rally the gang before they think we'd be better on our own. Let's just blame Larry. He keeps dropping explosives anyways. I'm not going to lose that much stability. Yeah, that's that's stupid. I mean, come on. We obviously should get... Like, a choice about the group that we want to raid with. It doesn't make any sense. Why would just random? That's why I don't like raiding sometimes, man. It just doesn't make any sense. Battery's dead? Oh, wow. Uh, let's go back up here. I want to try to get, let's see, we're going to need actually this one. Let's get a Comanche Riding Tactics. No. Tail Family. This is one. Comanche Language Sessions. I spent more of my life speaking English and Spanish than I ever have Comanche. Still, even still, with enemies abound on all horizons and our scope of work broadening, I believe that teaching them the men basic words will help our plans remain ours alone. To be honest, I thought Lannis would be a lot uh, weaker than this, but whatever. It's fine. You guys just go straight on him. They are taking infantry too. God dang, I keep forgetting about ah, planes, 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 planes. I forget about it. Nice. That guy's just slightly tougher. Slightly, 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 uh, slightly tougher. You guys could help out too, you know. But when we have to go that way too, it's fine. Nice, there we go. Cut these guys off down here. That's nice. That's very nice, actually. Glow bugs gotta die. Tributize them? Oh, boy. Hopefully they don't want to go to war with us soon. <laughs> we can raid Lanius. That'd be kind of suicidal. But that's why we're doing it. Wow. Take them out, sons of guns. All right. My tail family. My father wishes for me to meet him by the Plate River. I consider our time spent together, but it seems it seems like he has hope for me. Uh, let's go root him out. Just a little more pressure in the region, and total dominance will be ours, and with it, perhaps, the rest of the workshop locations. That's kind of nice, too. Going to. Give him a, a lot of crap. There go the glow bugs. There goes more divisions. Nice. So now you guys can pause. I want you guys to get on the line as well for now. Help up root a little bit of entrenchment. Fighting through this area can be pretty god god awful. Let's get our guys up the line. All of our guys. And just let the power arm just go. Let them rip. Maybe we fall city again maybe sometime. Okay, just go ahead. We'll see. 
There's one campaign I haven't done yet with Vault C, but we'll see what happens. If you guys get over here and to here, that'd be great. Not bad, not bad. And then we can probably force the attack with these guys. Or not force the attack, but you know, just attack in general. There we go, now they've been cut off. That's good. I need you guys to finish this area off first. That'd be good. You guys just keep working on this direction. Nice. Recon infiltration is very good. Oh, tail family. Bullet Eater approached his, the small ridge overlooking the plate. Seeing the chief golden eagle standing out by the edge, he held in his hands a small cigarette, casually smoking away as he walked, waited for Bullet Eater to arrive. Father, Bullet Eater said, approaching his side, you asked me to speak to me? Golden Eagle's quiet, con contemplative. A question already prepared. You've spent your childhood reading old books and letters regarding the old tribes. Why, my son, do you forsake your own? Bullet Eater crossed his arms, looking into the river as his father was. He knew this conversation was inevitable. It was the same one he had years prior, because I know to remain among you would mean to be nothing. Golden Eagle sighed, biting his lip, chapped with age, before glancing over and smiling weakly at Bullet Eater. You always be someone. You do not need an army or a legend to be someone. You misunderstand, Bullet Eater glances up to the sky. Peering at the sun, I want to be more than somebody. I want to be immortal. To carry an end, they'll bounce out the tongues of fearful children and decades to come. Golden Eagle chuckled, taking his seat on the ridge. So you wanted to be a monster. Hope monsters apt. I wanted to be a king. Mm, I don't know. I like both. Be a monster. I don't want to be king. I want to be a monster. Golden Eagle sighed. You have power beyond imagining, and you use it not for good, but terror. Our ancestors were no saints either, Father. The same people you claim to try to live by were raiders as I am. No, they were not like you, my son. They were guided by vengeance and the love for home. You are drowning in merciless ambitious. Golden Eagle turned a bullet eater. You seem to have an idea, and yet you do not know why it is that I've called you here. That is why I speak to you, because we are built to grow. What do you mean? The lessons I learned, the way I have lived my life, my share of life, you have taken it and interpreted it, making it into your own beliefs. The same as I did with my own father's lessons, you frowned. I just wish you used your life better. I gave you a home, father, when you had nothing, Bullet Eater said, pulling away. You have no right to enter my land and call me a demon when you eat from my hand. Yet again, you missed my point. I came here because you were my son, not because you were my only option, he said. Tone biting as he jabbed his finger to Bullet Eater's cuirass. Because I believe you can do better. Well, this is the best I can do, father. No, it isn't, Golden Eagle said, embracing his son with gentle firmness. Just know this, not once have I ever stopped believing in you, he said, turning away. Now go. I'm sure you believe you have more important matters to attend to. Words to think on at another time. And what yours has become mine. Not asserting dominance over what we do uh, hold is a mistake I don't intend to make. Cool. Yeah, I definitely go for Lanius because he's going to be a big old fatty. Oh, well, we got fat. Okay, we got the fatty done. Okay. Well, well now we're back. Here we go. Nice. Well, we tried. They're going to die. God, I wish we could see how many couches we've inflicted. God, I love power armor. If you play Old World Blues, you just have to use power armor. Like, I love it so much. God, it, I would love a f real, authentic suit of power armor. But then again, that sounds really expensive. And impossible to make. Well, maybe not impossible. But we're not, we don't have the technology yet. Someday, though. You hinted I'll still join Kaiser's Legion? Oh, so be it. Uh, so be it. Oh, not for you. Go right there. Rooting him out. Very good. Yeah, definitely this one, yeah. And then battery's dead. I hate this canyon and everyone in it. That's a lot of cores. That's very nice. Distribute them Pip Boy Renos? Twice in two lifetimes? Oh, they actually made. Oh, they're gone. Very nice. Yay! Um, who's in what? Demand tribute. We will not be pushed around. Hounds of Day? Go kill yourself. Iron Alliance, though. We can try to do the claim jumpers, I guess. Keep you guys really close, though. Regulated shack market, that's fine. Um, throw you all right there, maybe. We'll see. Put any PP, get some decryption, that'd be nice. Keep working on that stuff. What's become yours is mine. Battery's dead. Paved with bad intentions. Nice. Yeah, getting these all core will be very, very important. Uh, toothpick, chop shop. Might as well do that one. Visible ink. Nice. Oh, we're almost done building stuff up. That's a lie. But also build up some more of this one, too. Motorized flight. Uh, make some triplanes. Screw it. Screw the other stuff. Get a triplane going. Alright. 
we can do? Oh my god, we can't do anything here. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, Williams. Bullet Eater, go. Start. Okay, whew. Hopefully we can do something here. Oh, it's over here. Are you kidding me? Please. Okay, we're at least using power armor. Oh, now we're fighting over, which is stupid. Whatever, whatever. God dang it. That was successful. At least we had a successful raid finally. My goodness. Standardized tools. Nice. I'm going to grab construction speed first. Pounds of day. Twin mothers. Eh. You know what? We were successful once. Maybe we'll try to be successful again. Putting 11 divisions here is probably not a good idea, but whatever. Anything else here? Gliders. You must start working on some gliders. That'd be nice. Go with two. Max that out over there. Nice. How much money do we have left? Plenty enough money, yes. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Did let I don't like that tree. I don't like the Lannis' tree. The Mexican charisma. That's kinda cool. I need to play as the Legion again sometime, but I really don't like it where they can just Lannis just get straight up annexed. It makes sense, I know, but I don't I don't like it when that happens. But paid with bad intentions. With the way he laid out. We can consolidate our holdings and make a highway for men to take to and from paradise. Yeah. Warrior code, very nice. We are speeding through this campaign like very quickly. I love old world blues. It's been like I said, it's been so long since I've played it, but I wish we'd get an update. But then I know that the devs are just waiting for the next DLC to come out, so DLC as in no step back. Oh, more Millies. Oh wow. Uh what do we need? Fire teams and power armor. Pretty normal. There you go. Do that too, because you can, and there you go. Ah, yes. We need plenty of that too, so do that. That. Actually, Meeklin. Uh, Paradise. Wait, what? Meeklin. Yeah, no, we want to do Paradise. Well, here, there you go. Start. Desert Fox. Oh, they do have a lot of divisions there. Never mind. We won. Huh. <laughs> that was fast. Holy crap. Well, it looks like we're going to fight the Legion eventually, so. Sounds of day? I'm feeling a little frisky now. Pay with bad intentions. Paradise at long last. Let's see what happens with this one. She didn't say anything about this in the contract. What is this place? Wait. Do we get an annex? Paradise? Huh. That'd be kind of cool. I do need to play as uh, uh, Diana again. Diana was a lot of fun. I might just use the same thumbnail. As I did previously. You know what? Let me know. Should I use the same same thumbnail? Maybe I will. Because that's a really nice thumbnail that Overall Blues Devs created for loading screen. It, sorry, it's loading screen, but it's really nice. Very nice. I love it. Uh, research speed. And that. So you can match up. Because when you get to 80%, you can't do it anymore. So when you get to 79% and you get and you do both of these, that's the best thing you can do. That's just it's so good. It's just yummy. Just yes. Yay. Yay. I love power armor. Especially when we start with 20 combo with power armor. So nice. So nice. Thank you, devs. Or just dev. Or Laramie. Alright, not bad. Um, what is this one? Kriag. New General. Garrison the Nightmare. Might as well. Inspirational, because you can. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Give him a little more time to get more uh, stuff there. Remove that, yes please. Remove you, yes please. Go right there, do that real quick. Just in case, do this, yes, yes. Go in. Nice. Oh, it actually showed up, look at that. Hey, very good. Paradise at long last. The time had come at long last, cresting the mountain, bullet eater gaped as he saw what lay beyond. A valley of grass, vast green, where sing-song birds flew free, and the sun seemed to fall as a golden cascade upon the bows of olive greens and viridian mints. Boss Phoenix asked, following him up on, Oh, holy, he said, staring down. I've never seen anything like that. Bullet eater said softly, It's beautiful. Phoenix narrowed his brow. Yeah, he turned back to bullet eater. What the heck does that uh, woman want with us? Or this. Selene thumped up in her power armor, pushing Bullet Eater out of her way. You'll see, but before that, we need to set up camp within this valley. Bullet Eater turned it to Selene, narrowing his eyes. Though this wasn't in the original contract, she had his interest for now. For how long? She turned back to him, readjusting her helmet. We'll just have to see. Beware, we aren't alone in the valley either. Bullet Eater and Phoenix shared a nod as they proceeded into the valley. Time to cash out. Oh boy, what's going on here? Poking the defense's issues with the locals. Ooh, I don't want to lose too much stuff. 
Let's do Comanche riding tactics. My father's always been insistent on a return to form, living as our ancestors dead in teepees and on horseback. While I know she did not see such wisdom, we can only afford so much power on her. If we were to enlist horses into our own fold and teach them our, our men to ride them, our speed would be considerably increased. Not bad. Very fast power armor. I love it. Oh, we seem to get cords in this area. Guess they don't quit easy. Battle Cheyenne, town split halfway to heck. Nothing I can't handle with a little bit of time, though. It's Phoenix. Oh, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. And we'll probably end up trying to kill off the Hounds of Day and or Kai's Oz Legion. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.